David, hello. Hello. How are well, you doing? How come? I've come to give David Carroll a surprise. This mild-mannered New York professor has spent four years fighting to get the data the notorious company Cambridge Analytica had on him. I became obsessed with finding answers. His story forms part of the hit documentary, The Great Hack. The Cambridge Analytica case is behind me now. They pleaded guilty for not giving me my data. And I'll probably never get it back. Carroll won the legal rouse, but never got his full data after Cambridge Analytica refused and then went bust. But the file forms part of the Trump campaign database obtained by Channel 4 News. But he doesn't yet know what we've got. David, why did you want to get your data? To see if it was possible. Uh, to try and pry open the secret world of voter targeting. It's a mystery otherwise. What were you worried about? Worried about our data being abused, uh, used against us, uh, used to exploit the divisions and fractures in American society to divide and conquer. What kind of blowback did you get? Was uh, it stressful? It was stressful because Cambridge Analytica really did not want me to pursue this lawsuit. So what did you end up getting? I got some data, which was a very thin profile. It had my voter registration information, which is pu publicly accessible, but it had a model of my political beliefs, so issues ranked, and it certainly wasn't anything near what the company bragged that it had on, on us. What did you think when you saw Cambridge Analytica implode? You know, when the story started running, when the Channel 4 News expose, you know, was broadcast. We did all the research, all the data, all the analytics, all the targeting. That I, w that I wasn't going to get the answers to our questions. Where did they get it? What did they do with it? And who did they share it with? So you were trying to get the data that Cambridge Analytica held on you in 2016. We have obtained the Trump campaign database from wow. 2016. <laughs> That's hard, I mean, that's, we've been, it's like, how else would we be able to see that? You can search it, and what we found is a file for David Carroll. Uh, it's more, more than this? Well, let's have a look. <sighs> um, so now you got a few sort of simple things about issues. What we have here is your openness, conscientiousness, mm -hmm extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism yes, scores. Yes, a very low neuroticism score, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, the percentiles, see, this is critical. People who have very high conscientiousness and very high neuroticism scores, they would be very easily manipulated and have no idea it's happening. OK, so that's just the personality info. So we go down to commercial information. It knows what kind of car I have, it knows if I'm a gamer, it knows my investments, it knows how I eat, um, it knows if I use coupons, it knows you know, if I've ever written a blog, it knows you know, how I use the internet, whether I use social media, whether I have a home office, or donations. Or the charities that you support. Indeed, yep. This is what... Um, we were fighting to get. Uh, this is what I knew was there. <sighs> I mean, I think every voter has a right to see this. It's crazy that we don't have the right to see this. It's crazy that you have to come and show me mine. <laughs> That's the David Carroll file from the Trump campaign from 2016. Yeah, well, the, when you showed me my personality model, that shows that they had tried to calculate that. And that's what psychographics are. That's that, that openness, conscientiousness, agreeableness, extroversion model, which is co very controversial whether or not it works. But what matters to me more is that they said we didn't do that for the Trump campaign. Came journalist said that. Yes. Uh, and for example, um, Matt Oskowski, who was, who's you know, currently working for the campaign, he said on the record when asked by a reporter, um, Sorry to disappoint you, but we didn't do psychographics for the Trump campaign. Well, why do I have one in my file, Matt? You know, it's just a level of abuse that we're tolerating in this country. And we can't.
It works as a suppression system. It works to subvert the will of the people. So would you like the file? <laughs> it's, it's been a long time coming. After all this time, just to click it is all it took. <sighs> well, thank you. <laughs> Obviously, I'm pleased that it's gotten into your hands for this purpose, but ideally we wouldn't have to rely on you to get these questions answered. Yeah. <laughs>